like you're not broke. Here's how life works when you're not broke. Every time the phone rings, you can answer it, right? <laughs> Right? When you're not broke and you get a bill, do you know what you do? You pay it. It's, it's like magic. It's, the best part of being not broke is calling Capital One and telling them to take their 23% annual percentage rate credit card and shove it up Samuel L. Jackson's ass. What's in my wallet? Cash, motherfucker. That's what's in my wallet. All right? I don't need your double miles when I can't afford to park at the airport, asshole. All right? You're a crack dealer. Leave me the fuck alone. All right? And once you get that, like, you're never gonna go back. It's the best thing in the world. And you think, I've made it. I'm a success. Everybody knows it. Except my rich children. Oh, fuck. Nobody told me about this. My son came home from his really rich friend's house the other day and he said, hey dad, when are we gonna hire a chef? <laughs> a fucking chef. And I had to remember that he's seven. <laughs> and he doesn't know how the world works. So I was like, okay, take a breath. I put my arm around his shoulder and I said, son, fuck you. <laughs> You ungrateful fidget spinning shit. You want a chef? I grew up with a chef, Chef Boyardee. Rotten meat in a rusty tin can with a picture of Mussolini on the label. Perfect meal for your bomb shelter. My kids, they don't get it, right? They need to spend a little time at middle class camp at grandpa's house so they can see how the rest of the world works, right? And they can play fun games like, don't touch the thermostat. <laughs> oh, you're cold? Put on another sweater. Do some jumping jacks. I don't give a shit. During the summer when it's hot. Yeah, we've got air conditioning, but we don't turn it on. I mean, it's 90 degrees at 10 o'clock at night. Throw open that window. Grandpa will turn on the attic fan. Yeah. That's middle class air conditioning. It doesn't make the house any cooler at all. But it does suck in some bugs, heat, and pollen from outside. It turns your bedroom into a sticky tornado. You know, that's, that's helpful. It's weird. It's weird making that progress. You grow up one way and then life turns another way. It's like, I don't, I, I don't know how to handle it. Like my wife, like she shops. My kids have never had Chef Boyardee. They only eat organic meat from Whole Foods, which drives me crazy. And my wife is like, eating organic is important to me. You need to find something positive about me shopping at Whole Foods. I was like, you mean like uh, all the money we save when we eat out? That kind of thing? <laughs> And the, and the organic, organic food goes bad so quickly, I'll see like $20 worth of chicken breasts in the garbage can. I'll be like, what the hell is that? And she goes, oh, they were bad. I'm like, so I just took a 20 out of my wallet and threw it on top of them. And she was like, what are you doing? I was like, saving you another trip to the store. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Whenever I tell that joke, other women in the audience are like, I've already got a dick husband at home. I don't need to hear this. <laughs> from you. I didn't pay to come out and have a good night and get bitched at. I can stay home and hear that shit for free, that's all, okay? My wife has to trick me into spending money. We were going out west this summer. She was like, this once, can we fly private just to see how it feels? And I was like, oh my god. See how, honey, I know it's going to feel great, okay? It's going to feel great. And by the way, I recognize your logic from our second date when I said, let me put it in for a second, just to see how it feels, okay? I know what you're trying to do here, okay? I used to be very good at it. But once it goes in the budget, it's not coming out. We're gonna keep doing it and doing it. It's not just the tip, sweetheart, it's a precedent. I am, I am better off married, I know this, because when I was single, I thought the world owed me something. I was like, when am I going to meet my soulmate? But now that I'm married, I know that you don't meet your soulmate, friends. You earn your soulmate through years sharing health problems and money problems and her loading the dishwasher like an asshole. <laughs> 
everybody, everybody knows that it goes big plate, big plate, little plate, little plate. But with my wife, it's like an Escher painting on peyote. <laughs> A dish here, a bowl there, cutlery strewn across the top rack. I saw it the other day and I was like, please tell me that's not a cutting board standing vertically on the bottom rack, blocking the upper spray arm. Yes, upper spray arm. That's what it's called. You would know if you gave a shit. It's like, baby, how far away were you from the dishwasher when you threw that bowl in there? Were you across the room? It's like, are you intended for that to end up in that space? Does symmetry mean nothing to you? You must suck at Tetris, honey. That's not enough. You know. And she's like, why do you care so much about the dishwasher? I'm like, it's not about the dishwasher. It's about all the chaos on this planet, right? And in this one 12 cubic foot appliance, I have the opportunity to have organization and order reign twice a day, every day, but you just shit all over it. And your disorganization is a butterfly flapping its wings that's causing hurricanes and political unrest in Thailand and fucking North Korea. Those bowls should fit one on top of the other like Russian dolls. Fucking Russia, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? She doesn't care those flaps on the tops of cereal boxes. She doesn't have time for that shit. She just goes right through the side of the box. First time I saw it, I was like, we've got raccoons! 